They said it can't be done. You can't switch your cameras in StreamYard with Stream Deck. They said there's no hotkey for that. You can't trigger sound effects with your Stream Deck in StreamYard. These are actually not supposed to work. And that's exactly why I'm here. Let's stack loopback, custom layouts, and Stream Deck together to give you two super handy StreamYard hacks. You'll be using your live streams like a champ. The problem, can I switch cameras with my Stream Deck? Standard answer, no. There's no hotkeys in StreamYard for cameras. And that's the only way to connect that functionality to your Stream Deck. The how it all works answer <laughs> is yes. If we reimagine custom layouts, let me show you how. So here we are in StreamYard and I've got a custom layout on the screen and we're going to dive into how we can utilize this to create a camera switcher. So the normal way of doing camera switching in StreamYard is of course, we'll just click selecting the solo layout icon here and then just selecting the different cameras. You could just do a full screen switch that way. You could do it that way. And if you wanted to do it that way, no problem doing it that way. But if you're watching this video, you probably want to know how to do this inside StreamYard using the Stream Deck. And of course, you can see my Stream Deck here on screen. And so I'm going to go back to our custom layout for just a second here. We're going to create two custom layouts. It's going to seem counterintuitive, but it'll make sense in a second. So edit layout. We're going to click add. Uh, oh, actually, let's do that again. We're going to hit the plus sign, right? We hit the plus sign, hit the plus sign. And that starts a brand new custom layout. And so we're going to hit the add item. We're going to select camera slot here, camera slot. And we have our camera slot. Now, now that we have our camera slot, this is camera one. Um, we're going to leave this like this. We're going to add another item, add camera slot. And this is going to add camera number two. So camera number two is here. I'm just going to put this to the side, put this right here in the top corner. Um, lay for layer priority, we're going to for layer priority, we simply go here and say move layer back, right? So that the camera one is on top of it. We'll take camera one, push it all the way up into the corner and then make this big. Now you'll see that this is the spot on the screen where camera two is. So what that means is your person, whoever's in camera two will be heard if it's a different person. But if it's just you, it won't be matter, right? In this case, it's just me. I'm gonna click save. Uh, it's going to give me a warning saying, hey, you have obscured an item in your layout. Are you sure you want to save this? Yes. And we're going to just call this one cam one. I'm going to call that cam one. Hit save new layout. And so cam one is here on the side. I'm going to create another layout. Let's do plus sign and we'll say add item camera slot here. You can see camera slot. We're adding the camera slot. This is camera one. We're going to make this one small now put it up in the corner and we're going to do add item, add item, camera slot, camera slots is camera two. We put camera two here. This time we don't need to mess with the layer priority. You can see camera one is still here. It's giving us that square. We're going to say save again, gives us that warning that, you know, you've covered something you want to may want to be mindful about that, but that is okay. So we click save on that. Now we have camera one and we have camera two. Now, you may be saying to yourself, but Kirk, you just did the same thing that you could do down here. And that is correct. That is correct. The difference is, however, that down here, there is no hotkeys for each camera, but there is hotkeys for custom layouts. So now let's go to present. Sorry, go to settings. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to hotkeys and we're going to find those two custom layouts that we just created. There they are. Camera one and camera two. I'm going to do shift O. Let's do uh, shift Q for camera one, and we're going to do shift W for camera two, shift Q and shift W. Now that we have that like that, I'm going to bring up my stream deck profile. I have that on the screen now. I still have my two camera one and camera two hotkeys, and I'm going to go into the stream deck. You want to look for the system tab on the right side of your stream deck uh, dialog window. You want to look for the system tab, expand that. And the third one down is hotkey. So we're going to pull hotkey onto the onto the thing here. Let's pull another one on as well. So that we have camera one and camera two. I'm going to click here 
to assign it. So camera one is shift Q. So we click to assign, we say shift Q. And we say that we'll, we'll put this one as cam one, We're just naming it. We're just giving it a title. So we've given it a title here and we've given it the command. So we go over to this one, let's click to assign and we'll say shift W. All right, shift W and we'll call this one cam two. So they're there and you can just move them around if, if you want them in order, if you want them to look a little bit better. You can even change the icon by going into the, hitting the drop down arrow here and grabbing an icon from the library. But essentially we have now added these two buttons to the stream deck and those buttons are functional. Let's give them a test right now. So we're gonna come back over to StreamYard and go to camera one. You can see me pressing this. Camera one on the stream deck, you see, you see me press that. I'm gonna hit camera two. And so now I have a camera switcher on my stream deck inside StreamYard. That is pretty dope. What was your other question? The problem, can I play sound effects with Stream Deck in StreamYard? Uh, standard answered, no. There's no hotkeys for background music, which is already a hack for playing sound effects in StreamYard. The how it all works answer, yes. If we set up a virtual mic to include Stream Deck audio, then you can not only play your sound effects in StreamYard, you can attach them to a button on your Stream Deck. Let me show you how. So now we're back in StreamYard again, and I am in the brand tab, right? Brand tab. So some of you may, may, may be still at that first level. Wait, 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 wait. You said you could play sound effects. I don't see a sound effects section inside StreamYard. That's correct. This is actually the background music section. And so in the background music section, you can upload your uh, sound effects. This is a sound effect here. That's a sound effect. Um, this is a clapping sound effect. That's a sound effect. We have a doorbell sound effect. These are all uploaded into the system just by hitting the plus sign, clicking on add music. And once your dialogue comes up, you will, you have to navigate on your computer to wherever your sound effects are. And if you are interested in the sound effects, I'll make sure to put the link to this particular Google drive location, which has all these sound effects in the description, but you would simply navigate to that folder, select the sound effect. You have to upload them one by one and you would hit open that sound effect will load. You see it processing in the bottom here. And once that has finished processing, it's ready to go. Now, when you're using background music for sound effects, you do wanna make sure you have loop turned off. You don't wanna loop your sound effects or else they'll just keep playing and playing and playing. You also don't wanna have your sound effects fade in and out, or maybe you do, completely up to you. You get to decide. And then you also want to set the volume level for your sound effects. This is the sound effect that we just uploaded. It's a gunshot. <laughs> but now, how do we do this using the Stream Deck? Unfortunately, it's not anything to do with the uh, sound effects or background music. What we'd have to do is come into our loopback application. And so Loopback is an application that is for Mac. Uh, it's for Mac, Mac only. There's uh, several others, uh, uh, Voice Meter Banana, um, several others that do exactly the same thing for my Windows users out there. Uh, so this will be similar for, for those that use that, but Loopback is, it allows you to create multiple virtual mics. And so here I have the vMic for StreamYard, vMic for StreamYard. This is one that I've created. And in this mic, I already have my audio, the Rodecaster Pro audio. You can see that that's there. That's this microphone that I'm talking to now. You always wanna make sure your Rodecaster Pro, your, your, your standard mic is included in the mic that you're gonna take into StreamYard. But what we don't have here is our Stream Deck. So we're gonna hit this plus sign here at the top where it says sources. We wanna hit this plus sign at the top and we hit that and we wanna say select applications. Select applications is right here at the top. We will say select applications. And once we click on select application, we will simply look for Elgato. 
Elgato Stream Deck. Elgato Stream Deck. We select that, we hit open, and now we have the Elgato Stream Deck inside our vMic for StreamYard. Now, next thing you wanna do is make sure you come here to where it says options, uncheck mute when capturing. That way you can still hear whatever it is your Stream Deck is playing. So now this has been added. The next thing we wanna do is actually go to the Stream Deck and on that right side again, uh, for your dialogue for stream but stream deck you would simply go to soundboard soundboard is here and we want to play audio so i'm going to drag play audio onto the screen i'm going to drag another play audio onto the screen and we're going to set two of these so here we go to the file we click on choose similar process as, as what we just did inside Streamyard. we want to go to music we want to go to navigate to wherever your folder is that you have all your stuff i'm going to do the dj air horn um, hit open and I'm going to name that DJ air H and that that's what's on the actual button on the stream deck. So we have DJ air H and then we also want to do one more. So let's go here. Let's go to choose. It's going to open back up our location again. Uh, we want to go to music and back to wherever you have saved your files and let's do, let's do, uh, let's do the bomb. All right, the Funk Master, the sound effect. Okay, we do that one. I'm going to name that Bomb. I just like naming mine in capital letters. And now I have these two buttons. You can see uh, camera one, camera two, DJ Air H, and Bomb on my stream deck. And so when I hit the Bomb icon, you can hear that audio inside on my computer, but we don't yet hear that audio in StreamYard yet. Let's go back over to StreamYard and we're gonna go to, uh, I'm gonna bring back up uh, loop back so that you can see this. So loop back, our mic is called VMic for StreamYard. Settings, audio, VMic for StreamYard, boom. So now we have VMic for StreamYard selected. We wanna probably turn off echo cancellation, make sure we have stereo audio and we're good to go. So we will also unmute that mic and let's just bring back up the audio settings and you can see that the voice meter is is going because I'm talking. But what happens when I click the Stream Deck button? You can see the audio here playing in the Elgato Stream Deck and you can see the audio playing here, of course, inside StreamYard. That, I just hit the bomb button. You can see that that audio is playing here in the Stream Deck and you can see that that audio is playing here in StreamYard. So we have essentially created StreamYard buttons that allow us to trigger our sound effects and switch our cameras from one to the other inside StreamYard all using the Stream Deck. All using the Stream Deck powerful little tool. The Stream Deck, while crazy powerful, still depends heavily on the application you're using for integration. In this case, hotkeys and loopback bridge the gap between Stream Deck and StreamYard. Every time StreamYard adds a feature, they open up potential for more hacks. Custom layouts gives us the camera switcher, but if you layer it with backgrounds, you can design something really unique. Click on the video right here to learn five custom er layouts every StreamYarder needs, plus a Canva background hack. Go now. <laughs> I'll see you over there.